Welcome to the Star of Brian. Then we meet. Okay, so we meet. Yeah, so we meet. And what, what what am I what am I presenting? I might present like when you see successful. So if I'm if I'm doing a good job, am I presenting a beta? Am I presenting a launch product with metrics? Am I presenting a business plan? I'm assuming not. But what tell tell me what I'm presenting that might catch your eye. So if you got there because um, a what you're proposing to do is is sort of um, one of the main themes or something that is sort of intriguing to us. Yeah. And so we'll take the meeting and say. And, you know, sometimes we'll take a half an hour meeting or half an hour phone call because it sounds interesting, but we're not sure. And we don't want to waste your time. And we sort of don't want to spend, you know, uh, time on something that we don't think is sort of squarely in our, um, in our sort of focus. So if you look at uh, our website, um, softtechvc.com, two T's, um, you'll see that there is a pretty clear sort of set of, of buckets that we invest in. And, you know, you're welcome to sort of send something to us, which is not exactly the kind of thing we do because there's this others uh, in the buckets that means that we'll look at um, uh, sometimes things which aren't sort of core to us but if you have something in the mobile services economy if you have something in vertical SaaS if you have something in um, in e-commerce um, except deals we don't do deal deals anymore um, um, we'll sort of be happy to um, to take a look and if you're here it means that whatever you pitched us was interesting. Typically, yeah. the people come to us with, um, I would say, an advanced prototype of the service with some a minimum level of, of customer development which has been done. So they might not be launched yet, but they've done enough sort of research with a pool of early um, uh, consumers, customers, users to sort of help us understand how the product's going to be used potentially at scale. And then we'll want to understand um, so we think we think about three things: team, product, and market opportunity. Um, we call that I made up the name the three asses rule. If ever you've heard that, uh, which is uh, basically a a, a small ass team building a kick ass product in a big ass market, and that's the secret of venture capital. If you understand that, you've understood everything. Um, and so. Team is the one thing that is the most important, obviously, but not enough to us. We still want to see the product and how differentiated it is and and why you have sort of this passion mm -hmm. for this kind of um, potential opportunity. And then are you building, and this is really important to us these days, are you building a real company? Are you yeah. building something that will get to eventually, you know, $50, $100 million in revenue? We're not asking for you to... Um, prove the revenue model early on, but we need to know that this is something that can actually, at some point, become a real business. Because um, traction-based businesses can be lucky, but we'd rather do something around transaction subscription and so on and so forth. That's what we're most comfortable with. There's, if, you, if you're standing in the back, there's, you can come stand along here. You're welcome to come sit in the front as well. Um, so that's so, the first meeting. Yeah, so that's the first meeting. So one, one question on that is with the consumer. Yeah, so this last point that you mentioned, at that very basic level, even if I'm cons a consumer web product or business, you, you still expect me or do you still expect me to have some, some level of monetization figured out, some level of, you know, of, uh, of um, you know, revenue or, or how I'm going to do that? I mean, how, how, how specific would I need to get on something like that if I'm coming in and presenting – We'll yeah. spend more time on your customer acquisition strategy and what you've sort of tried or proven in terms of getting users to um, come and visit and the cost of that. So doing um, very basic landing pages, um, using AdWords or Facebook, um, Facebook ads and so on and so forth. Things which are completely easy and things that you ex we expect you to, to um, actually have done. In terms of the, um, the business model, if it's... If we see that this is a freemium model, if this is a sub-model, if I mean, there's a bunch of proven sort of techniques to monetize. Um, and so if you say this is what we plan to use and this is how we sort of have validated that people would be willing to, um, you know, pay for something and we tried this landing page and people said yes, you know, 5% or 3% or 5%, 7%. We understand that you understand what it takes to actually go through that monetization journey. Mm -hmm. um, if we ask, have you tried, you know, to do some cohort analysis to see how your, you know, two or three or four cohorts uh, will actually potentially improve in terms of conversion, and you say, cohorts, what is that? 
then you just shoot yourself in the foot. So it's much more <laughs> figuring out that you have understood the basic mechanics of user life cycle than that, that we'll want to sort of spend time on. The monetization is obviously great if you have it, but we'll spend less time if we think that this is a model that we've proven in the past. I mean, we've done 110 investments in the past seven years, so we've tried a few things that worked and many that absolutely didn't work. And so, you know, I had that, that case two days ago where someone said, oh, we found that amazing opportunity that no one has thought of. You know, we're going to help the browser extension market to monetize because they don't, and we found the way to actually make it happen. And I said, many have tried, and they failed. It just doesn't work. That's why you don't see it happening. And the guy was like, oops. And so that's sort of the, we, we don't know better ever we just have screwed up so many times that we just use that, that memory to analyze all the new opportunities.